try I'm Hui Chen so my part is 3 input NAND gate and I will run it in LT Spice by using the transistor models of NMOS A and PMOS A so I will also include the load capacitance of 50 factor farad and run the circuit at 500 megahertz frequency which means that the time period will be 2 nanoseconds so this is the 3 input NAND gates circuits and the 3 inputs are stated here which is A, B and C so in the NAND gate the NMOS A is connected in series and the PMOS A is connected in parallel and so now I will show you the parameters of NMOS A for the length it is 0 0.18 micro and for the width is 0 0.36 micro and the parameter is same goes to other other NMOS A as for the PMOS A the length is same as the NMOS A which is 0 0.18 micro it's just that the width it's twice the width of NMOS A which is 0 0.72 micro because the the wave of PMOS A is usually longer than NMOS A so after the parameters of PMOS A and NMOS A now I will go to the voltage which is connected to the input so as you can see the A over here is connected to this voltage source the B is connected to this B, VB voltage source and the uh, input C is connected to the VC voltage source so if you notice that the parameters for each voltage source is different so for the voltage A, the VA the time delay is 8 nanoseconds which means that initially it is 0 volt so after 8 nanoseconds it will turn to logic 1 and the time on over here is 8 nanoseconds which means that it will maintain at logic 1 for 8 nanoseconds and the time period is 60 nanoseconds which means that it will repeat the process repeat the signal for every 16 nanoseconds so as we can see the time delay is 8 nanoseconds and time on is 8 nanoseconds which means that it is actually according to the truth table which means for the this A it goes as 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. and for B the time delay is 4 nanoseconds and also the time on is 4 nanoseconds so which means that the it will go like 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. for C the time delay is 2 nanoseconds and the time on is 2 nanoseconds which means that it will go like 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so this is about the circuit so now I will show the simulation okay so as we can see for A the input is goes like 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 which is same as the truth table the A is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 and for B it is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 which is also same 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and for the C it is zero one zero one zero one zero one, and yeah, which is also the same zero one zero one zero one zero one. So now it's the output. The output will go to zero when A is one, B is one, and C is one, which is the same and it is which is the expected outcome according to the truth table. When the output is zero. The inputs A, B, C is 
1 which means that the results are going according to the truth table of NAND gate so the next is that to fulfill the to fulfill the frequency of 500 megahertz here we can see that for every two nanoseconds there we have having an output here for every two nanoseconds so in conclusion the results of this NAND gate is running according to the truth table which is the expected outcome so thank you for watching